Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to EMT Made Easy. So today we're gonna to be going over behavioral emergencies and what that is, how to approach a patient, how to treat a patient, and how to behave as an EMT. So first off, what is a behavioral emergency? So what this is, a behavioral emergency, that is when somebody is acting intoler intolerable to themselves um, their family members or anybody in the surrounding facility or vicinity. So that is what a behavioral emergency is. Somebody's just acting up. They're acting crazy. It's not normal. And we are there to assess the situation, see what needs to happen. So, but now people may act like they might act crazy, right? They may scream, they may cry. These are all emotions, the normal emotions that we all do. But what, what turns a, mother, a, a lady crying into a, an emergency crisis? Well, that's what really matters here, right? So let's, let's, so let's write this down. So let's say, all right, lady crying. So we have a lady that's crying. Why she's crying, that's really what defines whether this is an emergency or it, it's, uh, it's not normal versus normal and it's okay. So there's two different pathways. If a lady's crying because she just found out that her son was in a motorcycle accident, that's perfectly okay. People are gonna cry. Um, it, may toler it may be intolerable for some people, some people we just can't deal with it and it may cause some issues, I guess, but that's still not really an emergency. She's crying because of her son being in a motorcycle accident, right? So, son in a motorcycle accident, M-A, um, because I don't have any more room. Now, if a lady is crying and she's crying because she did not like the way that the red light turned green. There's something crazy like that. Now that's an emergency. There's something that's psychologically wrong with that person or maybe there's a big imbalance in their hormones, who knows. But there's something going on and that's an emergency. It's inappropriate, right? Who's gonna cry because a light didn't turn the way they wanted it to turn? So let's say, uh, you just draw a little light symbol, let's make this realistic. I don't have red, but I have orange. Damn it. Let's see, this will be red, orange, and green. So, I don't know, it might be flipped up, I don't care. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys get what I mean here. So that's, that's really what defines a behavioral emergency. It's a, not, not that the person's acting up or they're acting crazy, they're, they're being loud or they're crying. It's why they're crying, why they're being loud. And that's really what matters here. That's what will define whether it's a, a behavioral emergency versus a non-behavioral emergency. You know, it's, a, it's a normal situation. This is what's normal. This is what's going to happen as a result of something else. All right, so we defined what a behavioral emergency is. Now, we want this off in case I have to write some other stuff. All right, so as far as what to assume, so as you're approaching a patient, you, let's say you were called, um, you were called to a back of a Walmart. There you go. You're called to a back of a Walmart for a man that's um, acting acting up. They're being belligerent. They're just uh, screaming out stuff. And people are calling them because they're nervous, they're scared, and they want the guy to be gone. And when you get there, the mentality you want to take in these situations is that you don't want to approach the patient and right off the bat, just assume that they're, they're, they're mentally ill. Um, that especially, this is a big issue when it comes to homeless people. Now, yeah, I did read a study that, you know, a good percentage of people, I want to say 70%, I'll look it up, 70% of homeless people are schizophrenic. However, um, 
a good percentage of those still are not schizophrenic. So approaching every homeless person as if they were mentally ill, or there's something mentally wrong with them, it's not really right. And also, it could fall under discrimination. It just can. It's just the way it is. So I always, um, but this, this this is true of any car you get with any person, any place, any time. Um, go in with an open mind. Don't always assume something. It's good to have things in the back of your mind, like what could be happening, but don't just lock in on that and don't just get that ton of vision. Don't do that, that's bad. So um, always go in thinking like, hey, it might be a trauma situation. Maybe somebody died, maybe, um, I don't know, they're having an infection. They could be diabetic, that's happened a lot. Diabetics act like they're drunk and they act up a lot. So always go in with the open mind, okay? So don't just assume that every person that you're gonna approach has acted up, that especially homeless people that they're, they're just, um, they have a mental issue, it's not cool. So as far as, uh, so that's a behavioral emergency when something is acting up, right? Somebody is acting up for a, per, for, a, for a reason that doesn't really make sense. Now as far as a behavioral crisis, so what's a behavioral crisis? Write this down. So a uh, behavioral crisis, this is a reaction that completely ruined your day. It's as simple as that. So a behavioral crisis, crisis, um, you could just go ahead and say that, that this is your feelings, your feelings. Behavioral crisis, uh, the way you're feeling just ruined your entire day pretty much. It just disrupted your entire day and your, the rest of your day is not going to be the same. So if somebody's having a behavioral crisis, their day's pretty much done. Like, I'm, that's it, I'm gonna throw in the towel, I'm done. This could be, again, anything. Um, behavioral crisis, if you're walking down the street, like, you know, um, there were these kids that, that were going around a while back, punching people in the face randomly, they would videotape it. If I was minding my own business, walking in Chicago, let's say I was in Chicago, um, and a kid just came up to me and punched me in the face, I'm gonna have a behavioral crisis. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna just lash out, and I'm most likely not gonna have a good day. I mean, maybe it depends on what happens afterward, but most likely I'm going to behavioral crisis mode. I'm not gonna have a good day. So things like that, things that disrupt your day so bad that the whole day is gonna be like, it's, that's it. Like, don't even call me, don't talk to me, I'm not going to work. I'll let you know why later. That, that's the kind of attitude you're having. Now, there's different levels, there's different extremes to this, right? So uh, depending on what happened, your, be yeah, your behavioral crisis might be at different levels. Some might be extreme. It might be so extreme that it becomes that this behavior behavioral crisis can indeed turn into a behavioral emergency. And that's when we have an issue with people, okay? Um, so that's what a behavioral crisis is. It's just um, your reaction. So your reaction to something that disrupts your day, your normal activity. A flat tire could be a behavioral crisis for people. That's as simple as that. They start cussing and these go off. People are tempered differently. Uh, so that's one example of that. Um, as far as this, let's see what else, what I have written down here for you guys to talk about. Um, just uh, be careful with these people. That's all I can say uh, with behavioral crisis. Don't uh, move too fast. Don't watch your body language. That's a big one. People don't really um, understand that their body language says a lot. Um, your posture. Don't stand over somebody. Uh, don't move suddenly. Don't move fast. Uh, take your time. Make sure you tell these people, these patients, uh, what you're going to do before you even do it. That way you don't catch them off guard and they don't swing at you or they don't punch you. That's also something. Uh, so reasons for behavioral crisis, like I said, it could be anything or um, behavioral problems. It could be a mental, a mental illness. So they, may, they, they might have a history of this. It might, might be a medical condition that they already have. If people lose their job unexpectedly, they, they weren't planning on this and they have a family, like that could turn into a behavioral crisis. That could turn into a behavioral emergency. They might become suicidal because they lost their hope. Like, these things happen.